So in the last video, what we have done is we have created a collection object or a list object which is values. In this value, I had a value which is from 1 to 6. So I have used a arrays class here with a method called as as list. So what we, what we have done is we have used something called as external for loops or external loops to iterate from this uh, collection. But instead of using external iterations, what if we can use uh, internal iterations? So in order to achieve internal iteration, you can simply use something called a stream API. Now what is stream API? In Java 8, they have done, they have done lots of modification to, with your collection interface also, or collection API also. What I simply mean by that is you can just type a uh, values dot. So they, they have introduced a new method called as for each. And if you go to the definition of for each, you can see somewhere it will be written that it was introduced in Java 1.8. So you can using for each method, so you can use a for each method here. Now this for each method needs an object of consumer interface. You can see there's something as consumer interface here. But since your consumer interface is a lambda expression, or this is a functional interface, you can simply use a lambda expression here. Now, if you're not familiar with lambda expression, uh, you can go to my tutorials of inner classes. In that, I have defined what is lambda expression. But still, if you don't want to go there, I will be repeating the concepts, the same concept in, this, in the subsequent tutorial. Now, so let's see what is lambda expression. Just define a... Uh, Let's go to this consumer interface, okay, and it defines a method which is a method name here is not defined. Okay, the method name is accept, and this accept accept a uh, object which is one uh, 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 one parameter. So what we'll do? We'll say i a bracket, and we'll say s out. Again, for sure, you will not understand this concept at start. But uh, just be with me. You know, slow by uh, slow and steady will be, will complete this uh, concept of stream API. So what we are doing here is instead of using external for loop, what if we can write this statement? And yes, if you write this statement, uh, let me comment this for loop. And if I run, you can see the output is one two three four five six. Then question arises: How it works? See, for each is a method which accepts a object of consumer interface. And what we are writing here, writing i arrow system dot out dot print ln and in bracket we have i. Now what is happening here is this is your functional interface. So if you are familiar with functional interface, it simply says for for every value of i, it will print the value of i. So it will iterate from the first value of the values to the last values of the value. Okay, and so it will iterate from one to six and it will print all the values. So this concept is called as internal iterations. But the question arises, how exactly, the, what, what exactly this line is? Now to, to understand what exactly this line is, you can see my subsequent tutorials in which I will define what is consumer interface, why, how can you create a lambda expression of, out of it, and what are the different features available with the stream API.